Hi guys, it's TH Lau and today I'm going to bring you another video uh, uh, but today we're going to do some Logic Pro X experimentation and uh, over here I've got a future based project apparently this file is corrupted, I have no idea why but you know what, I don't care so we are going to be replicating something like this but first let me let you listen to it Right, so for today we're going to focus on making the leads and the uh, wobble style future based synth over here. So let's just listen to it again. Yeah. Yep, so I've made the saw synth sound in ES2. As you know, I actually got this off one of the videos so this is the video which I got the saw from and I did a bit of experimentation and tweaking on some of the settings so it sounds very sounds quite mainstream now so there are two different types of saws which I use here and today we are going to make a project similar to this one so let me just save this and get a new project yeah gonna tweak this up to 140 cause it's like trap is 140 and I'll get my ES2 so we just take I'll need this up a bit okay now we just take the super saw 2 is it super saw yeah super saw 1 and just gonna create an empty region Oh, I just just expect future base only. Okay, wait a minute. Oops, stuff just happened. Okay, I have another one that's name only, but I don't care anymore. Right, so we are going to be making a synth that is wobbly just like the project you have heard before so i'll just take two of them i'm really confused which one i use it should be yep so it sounds like this quite mainstream yeah so I'll be making some chords. So yeah, I'll be right back. I'll turn it down a bit. Yeah, and I will copy this over. I'll just drop it by a couple of notes to the end. Yep, so I've completed the chords and it should sound quite okay. Um, solo this and maybe put this by yep that should do so the main secret behind this feature based super saw is actually the silent side chain that I use I added a strong compressor to create that wobbly effect 
and I'm going to run through with you guys the steps to making this silent sidechain. So over here you right click and get a new software instrument and under this thingy you go to utility and this cloth geist and I'll just click on it take away this menu and I'll just create a MIDI region for it so all of these notes actually do not matter you can just click any note because it is like a silent cake all these acts as a silent cake so it doesn't really matter on what note you choose so I'm just going to choose this note because why not I'm going to put it at here one half time extend this out and make it two bars and I'll loop it oh did mistake over there okay never mind loop it oops it's pretty simple to make actually you just need a bit experimentation just need to experiment a bit and some exploration and you can really get the heck of it and just like it just you just need like three or four instruments to make this sound so yeah i'll just solo this for a while yep good right now you turn off bus one and oh shit i just got the wrong one yeah we go both to bus one and bus two and delete it away and we send this to probably okay let's use bus three and we turn this up go to the mixer and find your aux three because if you listen to it it will sound louder it's louder as compared to before so over here you right click and choose no output so it sounds now it sounds as the same as usual and at this two we will add a compressor onto the ES2 any compressor of course and we will compress it into bus 3 you can hear a bit of compression every time the kick comes in there is a, a short period of time where it, it drops in volume oh wait I forgot to turn off the stereo output yep so this is a silent kick it's quite simple to make you just remember to turn up your side chain uh, remove your stereo output for your aux tree over here and on your main instrument also after that you can go back to your future based super sort and do a bit of editing right so we go to compressor and we check the graph and play at the same time So now we want to make it we want to make the volume go down more so I'll, maybe I'll drag up the show. A bit too loud there. Wait, oh you see. Okay. Sorry headphone users. See, it's quite easy to make. You just need a uh, silent, silent kick and some compression, and you can make quite a nice, good, a good future-based wobble sound. So you can just tweak according to preferences. Compressor onto the future base super saw two, so probably I'll delete this command D to duplicate the instrument because over here the comp compressor will copy down, and I'll choose uh, a different future saw sound. I'm not taking this alternate, we'll drag down so. It 
does not have to really be according to this tempo, you can tweak it accordingly. So example, if I add a couple more kicks into this, yeah. Wait, maybe not so far. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So uh, I'll let you guys experiment with the rest of the silent kick and it's feature based super saw. I'll be adding the links for the project below in the description. So for now let's just make a cool beat. So I'll be right back. Okay, maybe you can guys just watch me do it while we do it. So I got this good cashmere packs that has a lot of good samples that we can use like this top kit. I should remove those silent kicks there because it's a bit unnecessary. Con alternate. Oh, sorry there. And bring this front and make. Mm. Yep, that kick sounds good. I'll add a bit of distortion. Oh, sorry. I'll check analyzer. We shall do the mastering later as we shall just con we sh continue some bit more. I will distortion over here. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And I'll get some snares. Mm, get some good snares. Yeah. So I got this snare from a Cymatic 3 pack. It's quite good. Yeah, so I'll just get snare 20 over here and put it at half time. Shorten it a bit. Alternate half. Copy alternate and back to half. I should just double check that again to see whether it's in time. Okay, so to make the snares stronger, I'll just layer it with another snare. As you can hear, there's actually a very short period of time where there's this white noise traveling through. So, here. So I will highlight everything and remove that white noise because I don't want any unnecessary noises to be heard. Uh, maybe a bit more, yeah. Okay, I changed my mind. Probably you can leave the white noise there because it will sound weirder if I remove it. Of course, it was a bit too short. And for both of these, I'll create a summing stack. Right click, create track stack, summing snack, a uh, stack. And I'll add a bit of reverb, platinum verb.
And in every future bass song, there is always your 808. So, I will try to find some 808 bass. Sounds nice. Hmm. Yep, that sounds good. I'm gonna put it down here, move this up. Alternate, alternate. Right. Okay, just add one more kick here. I'll shorten this a little. Oops, my mistake. Please do. Mm, I'll add another one here. Oops. I'll move this over here, align to it, and I'll copy another eight weight base over here. As you see, the timing is not right. It is off time, so it's things bad. Yeah, that should be okay. <laughs> Copy another kick over here, and we should be done. done with part of the song. To allow a future bass track to have more variation, we shall add a pitched it over here. I'll enable flexing. Flex P. That is perfect. Perfect. Another pitch up here. You know, add a bit more velocity. Right. So now we'll work on the mastering of the songs. Let me add a song instead over here.
Yeah, so something like this. Add a bit of a scenario over here to add more vibe. That's what I like to call it. Oops. It should be okay. Yep, that should do a trick. Check the analyzer, distort the high frequencies a little because I think it's a bit too weak. And I'll be adding a. Uh, what is that again? Yeah, a tremolo to spread the hi-hats across the two different pans from the left to right uh, rate, let's say 2 triplets or 3 2 Right, so this is your final product guys. The theory behind the feature based sound is quite simple. A lot of music makers have a, de a default wobble, a feature based wobble, but over here we made a custom wobble which you can tweak according, accordingly with the silent sidechain. So you can play around with the compressor and add instruments or audio effects to your works. So with this, thank you so much. And goodbye guys.